and welcome back to this video from Greens Update. Comment your name and the country representing for a shout out to them on next video. Big shouts going out to my dude, G Planin, Lawrence Najwa, Anderson Dynamite, Boju, Brother B, one of my favorite artists, uh, Miss Maureen in Jamaica, and Miss Sylvester from Shantimel. Thanks for your sub, guys. Grateful to be here again, I'm Apple Wise, and in this episode, <laughs> in reggae music emerge Sizzler, the gladiators, and the black people. Treatment. He was getting horrible treatment. Three, two, one. Growing up in the trench thong area of Kingston, Jamaica, a neighborhood known for producing many of Jamaica's most famous musicians. Join us on a brief journey through the life and music of one of reggae greatest legends, Delroy Wilson. Who rose to prominence in the 1960s and the 1970s. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Wilson's career in music began at the age of 13 when he recorded his first single, Amy Lou. To be frank, you know, I used to listen like Marvin Gaye, you know, Stevie Wonder, like Lou Rawls, you know. So, you know, by listening to them, I try to put everything together, you know, and form my own kind well, of style of singing, you know. For the legendary Jamaican record producer, Clement Coxone Dodd. Wilson quickly became one of the top artists on Dodd's Studio One label, releasing a string of hit singles throughout the 1960s. You stay away too long and I can do without you. And every chance you get, you seems to hurt me more and more. Some of Wilson's most famous songs from this period include Better Must Come, Riding for a Fall, and Conquer Me. His smooth, soulful voice and heartfelt lyrics made him a favorite of both Jamaican and international audiences. I'm not In the 1970s, Wilson continued to record hits for a variety of record labels, including Trojan Records and Bonnie Lee's Agro Songs. He also collaborated with other Jamaican music legends, such as Prince Buster and Lee Scratch Perry. However, despite his success, Wilson struggled with personal problems. In the late 1970s, he moved to London, England, where he continued to perform and record music. In the 1980s and 1990s, Wilson's music became popular among the new generation of reggae fans. He continued to tour and record music until his death on March 6, 1995 at the age of 46, which was pretty young. What to say things about all these people, it has no limit. That's how I look at it, because, you know, Alton is one of the great force in this business. I almost never forget that. Like Bill Rawls is the first child star in Jamaica. You know? You inspire me a lot. And I'm only seven months older than Bill Wilson's legacy lives on through his music, which continues to inspire generations of reggae artists and fans around the world. This has been a brief look at the life and the career of Delroy Wilson as a Jamaican music legend. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Girl, I wanna know the wrongs. I am done you, yeah. Every time that you wanna make me feel true. If you wanna go your way, baby, it's up to you. I don't let me stop you from doing what you wanna do, baby.